Hello YouTubers, this is Charles Rowe, and thank you for watching today's special tutorial on how to use iMovie. Now this video will cover the basics of what iMovie is, and then I'll create an additional video understanding video, and a separate video understanding audio. So let's go ahead and just understand what iMovie is, and the different uh, areas to work with. Uh, this area, as you can see here, is your project area. This is where you actually, like your timeline, and um, other programs like Final Cut, or After Effects, or Vegas, or Premiere Pro. This will be your timeline and what actually will get rendered out and exported out. Uh, this here, this area, is your project area, or where you hold your project files. Uh, as you can see here to the left, you have what's called your uh, event library, and it shows last imported um, footage from your camera. Um, I have here aperture footage um, because I actually have the aperture program. Um, iPhoto videos, and that's from your iPhoto software, uh, 2011 and 2010. These are subfolders that I have actually imported into iMovie um, separately, and they create special little folders uh, and let me know, see all the different footage that's inside of that folder. This one's called sample footage that I took just for the, the sake of the next three um, projects that I'm going to do, or the next three tutorials that I'll do in iMovie. Uh, as you can see here, this is from 2010, and these are footage uh, that I took in my old apartment with my friend Ted Manning, also the writer and director for InVision Films. You can find his link below. All right, so let's understand uh, iPhoto. Um, up here in your uh, your toolbar, uh, you have uh, a bunch of different drop-down menus, iMovie, you can edit the preferences, you have file, you can import from your camera. So if you plug in a camera using a DV cable, uh, you can just click import from camera or you can uh, you know choose other ways of importing footage by going to import, click on the drop-down, you can click movies, camera archive, iMovie HD project. That will allow you to search your computer right here. Uh, will allow you to search your computer and pretty much go through all your different folders and pick whatever video files you have on your computer and actually import it into iMovie directly. So let's just cancel that since I already have footage already imported. Um, here's another option. You have edit. This allows you to um, you know work with some of your transitions, uh, make sure your spelling is correct, uh, and obviously just working with the edit tools. Um, but clip. Now this is fun. This is where you can actually do slow motion, fast forward, timer mapping basically. Um, you can do instant replays, you can do a jump cut at um, certain markers, and this is for advanced editing. Uh, this is for um, video, so I'll see if I can cover this in the video um, uh, tutorial. Uh, but this is, you know, just the basic tutorial. So, uh, fade two. Um, these are simple fades. Um, I'll mention a little later on where you can actually work with different fade options where it, uh, it dips to color dissolves, a cross dissolve, you know, all these different type of fades rather than just black and white, sepia and dream. Those are just, uh, you know, regular fades. Uh, and special effects, you got flash and hold last frame, split at beat markers, or flip at beat markers. I'll explain what those are, how they work on probably in a, a later tutorial. Um, and this is just kind of uh, allowing you to really manipulate and edit your, your video and whatever you you know have inside of uh, your project. Uh, going to view, this allows you to play your video. Um, you can make it full screen to see um, the whole video on your whole screen, whether you're working with a small little uh, notebook, um, you know, like the, the, the the, the light Mac that came out recently, or you're working on maybe the big 22 inch or the 26 inch um, Mac computer. This allows you to go to full screen. Um, and this is just helping you um, see your project in different ways. You can also group events by disk and group events by month. Um, that's what you see right here. Um, I have my uh, events grouped by month, and obviously, iPhoto videos, aperture videos, and last imported videos are grouped from their sources, where they came from, and where they're currently being stored. Uh, text. Uh, this allows you, when you create a text, um, how to manipulate the text, where you can make it bold, you can make it italic, um, you can change the ligature, you can change the baseline. This just allows you to manipulate your text, and I'll explain how to do text um, in a later tutorial when we work in video. 
uh, share. This is obviously where you're going to export your footage. Now, the great thing about iMovie is they make things very simple for you. Um, you can actually export your video directly to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, iReport, and even your mobile me gallery. Instead of having to export it out onto your desktop and then having to export it to one of these programs, or upload it to one of these programs, you now have like a one-stop shop uh, right here in iMovie. So you just click one of these um, accounts. You have to set it up, uh, put your you know your password and username, um, and then boom, when you go to export, you just click one, and it'll automatically um, export it out to the best settings that that website or um, program will be able to hold it at, which is great for people who don't understand file formatting uh, and exporting footages as, as different file formats. So this will be easy for you to use. Um, but for more advanced users, you can do um, export movie, export using QuickTime, or export Final Cut. Now this is interesting because uh, export Final Cut allows you to export it as a Final Cut file, um, and you can start working with it in Final Cut without having to worry about the you know the export waiting time, the export waiting time, uh, the rendering when you're in Final Cut. It just makes it easier uh, for you to work with the different programs if you have you know Final Cut since Final Cut is an Apple-based product. Um, but I like using export using QuickTime because I understand file formats. Plus files, uh, I like to make them different sizes. Very, uh, it changes. I mean, I, I usually work on widescreen. But you know you can make something 800 by 450, which is just a smaller size as 1280 by 720. But sometimes you make want to may want to make something let's say 700 by 200 and give it that cinematic widescreen look, you know. Um, and then right here you can do that. You can change the actual size of uh, you know the frame, and it'll still come out as a QuickTime movie. Uh, last but not least, you have your window. This allows you to just kind of Look at all the different things you have in uh, in place here, your clip adjustments, your video adjustments, your audio adjustments, uh, cropping, Ken Burns, and rotations. Uh, this is what gets affected in here. This is your window area, your viewer, your slug, your canvas. Uh, there's many different words for it. Every program has their own word. Uh, but if you're familiar with other editing programs, it's the window, the viewer, the slug, the canvas. Um, and, and here in the window, it allows you to kind of uh, manipulate certain things in here and see certain things inside of your window. Uh, it also helps you uh, organize your, um, your your event library as well. You can hide it by just clicking that and it's gone. Or I can go to window and show event library. I can go to window and show project library or I can you know boom that just shows me my project li library or I can hide it. Now let's go back to that so I can show you what the project library is. Whenever you make a video in um, an iMovie, you don't have to save it. And what it does is it automatically creates a project for you. And the first project you ever create in iMovie is called My First Project. It's, uh, it's already pre-formatted um, at 30 frames per second, and it's ready for you to go and make whatever you want to make. Um, but if you ever wanted to make new projects, you can simply just go right here and click this icon, and boom, it creates a new project. And this wonderful drop-down menu comes up that allows you to pick certain themes, um, like photo album. This is what it'll look like when it first starts. You could choose a bulletin board. This is what it'll look like when it starts. And there's plenty of different themes you can choose from. But a great new feature for iMovie 11, I should say that I'm using iMovie 11 and not 10, is you can now make cool movie trailers rather than just a movie. And they have it pre-formatted for you to actually uh, just plug in the, the videos that you want to plug in. And it will actually have everything else play out for you. Uh, so I'm sure you've seen this one before. This is a very, very popular um, iMovie trailer. Video. And so you can see, it's it's really easy. I mean, all you do is you, uh, you go here, the name, and... Uh, Let's just call it um, YouTube. Except for YouTube. Click create. Okay, I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me just now. Um, the, the music was a little loud. I tried to put the volume down just a little bit. But um, this is what pops up. Now, it looks a little different than what you normally would see. Um, but it gives you a storyboard um, right here. It gives you a storyboard, a shot list, and then the first tab is your outline. 
this allows you to edit um, all the text inside of your video. So let's say the the name is called iMovie, and then we're going to call the second line tutorial. Now check it out. It automatically forts, uh, um, <laughs> it automatically formats the text to fit within the given space, which is great. Now we're going to uh, change the release year to 2011. And we're going to put this at spring since we're, you know, in March and around March 21st, 22nd, that's when spring officially starts. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the first cast member, we're going to call him Charles. You see, Charles lived in the fast lane. It automatically pre-formats everything for you. And you don't have to worry about figuring out if something looks right, if it doesn't look right. You just go in here and you just change it. Uh, since I run Blue Monkey Entertainment, I'll just go ahead and go here and put Blue Monkey Entertainment. You could also change, you know, the type of uh, logo style you're going to have. Right now it says uh, Spinning Earth and Space. You can choose uh, the sun rays through the cloud, uh, Snowy Mountain Peak. This one is kind of similar to um, Paramount Pictures. I wouldn't use that. Uh, glowing Pyramid. I'm sure you've seen the pyramid before. And signals across the globe, you know, and this just makes it easier for beginner editors um, and people who just like to edit things for fun. Um, iMovie is a great program to use. It really does make things simple. Uh, storyboard. This allows you to drag clips into, um, you know, your different. It, it pretty much tells you uh, what they want you to do. So, for instance, Blue, Inter Blue Monkey Entertainment. Um, I can add in an action clip right here. It's set for 1.2 seconds. Um, Charles lived in the first. Man, my 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 diction is is horrible right now, or should I say, I'm stuttering terribly. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I think y'all get where I'm going with this. Um, you just pretty much plug in videos wherever you want, and it tells you what to kind of plug in, and then boom, at the end you have a trailer. Um, you go to your shot list, uh, and it just kind of like organizes your clips for you just a little bit. Like it says here, we want two pictures of Charles. We want a close-up shot of Charles. We want an action shot of Charles. A close-up shot of Matt and an action shot of Matt. And you just plug in the necessary uh, pictures or videos and then boom, it does it all for you. And you're done. You're good to go. And then it comes all the way back to um, share. And you can export using uh, QuickTime, which I like to do. And just click options and size and you know, dimensions, and you can pick all sorts of different type of dimensions that you want to use. Um, let's just go ahead and click cancel and cancel and cancel that. And uh, that's iMovie Basics in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message, uh, drop a comment below, and uh, look out for the next iMovie tutorial coming out very, very soon. This next one will cover how to work and manipulate a video.